Education is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think. So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about permutations of n objects taking r at a time. What could be our objectives? First, we will identify the permutation of n objects taking r at a time. Second, we will find the permutation of n objects taking r at a time. Permutations of n objects taking r at a time, or p the quantity n comma r. The number of permutations of n distinct objects taking r objects r is less than or equal to n at a time without repetition is given by the formula permutation of n objects taking r at a time it is equal to n factorial all over the quantity n minus r factorial where n is the number of objects, while r, number of objects used, and then the exclamation point, that could be the factorial. In example number one, how many three-letter code words can be formed from the letters of the word ratio? Let us find the permutation of 5 objects because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 letters from the ratio, and then 3, that is the 3-letter chord. Let us identify what is n. n is equal to 5, and then r is equal to 3. We have the formula for the permutation. Permutation of n objects taking r at a time is equal to n factorial all over the quantity n minus r factorial. n is 5, so let us replace, and then r is equal to 3. So that could be mean as permutation of 5 objects taking 3 at a time is equal to n, that is 5 factorial, all over n, that is 5, and then r, that is 3. So, permutation of 5 objects taking 3 at a time. 5 minus 3, that is 2 factorial. While the 5 factorial, it is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. But then, we need to stop to 2 factorial because as you can see, the denominator is 2 factorial. So, cancel 2 factorial. So, the permutation of 5 objects taking 3 at a time, it is equal to 60. 5 times 4 is 20 times 3, the answer is equal to 60. In example number 2, in how many ways can the integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 permute if take 2 at a time? So let us find the permutation of 5 objects. The 5 objects are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then taking 2 at a time because we need to take 2. So permutation of 5 objects taking 2 at a time. So n is equal to 5 and then r is equal to 2. The formula is permutation of n objects taking r at a time is equal to n factorial all over the quantity n minus r factorial. So let us replace. If we replace n by 5 and then r by 2, so that could be mean as permutation of 5 objects taking 2 at a time, n is equal to 5, n is equal to 5, and then r, that is equal to 2. 5 minus 2, the answer is equal to 3 factorial. And then 5 factorial, it is equal to 5 times 4 up to 3 factorial only to cancel 3 factorial in the denominator. So the permutation of 5 objects taking 2 at a time, it is equal to 5 times 4. The answer is equal to 20. In example number 3, find the permutations of the numbers 1 to 8 if 4 numbers are taking at a time. So let us find the permutation of 8 because if we come from 1 to 8, that is the object is 8, and we take 4. So permutation of 8 objects taking 4 at a time. 
n is equal to 8 and then r is equal to 4. So let us replace to the formula of the permutation. So let us replace n by 8 and then r by 4. So permutation of 8 objects taking 4 at a time, n is equal to 8, n is equal to 8, and then r is equal to 4. So let us solve. Permutation of 8 objects taking 4 at a time, it is equal to 8 minus 4, the denominator is 4 factorial, and then 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial only to cancel 4 factorial in the denominator. So let us solve. 8 times 7 times 6 times 5, the answer is equal to 1,680. So the permutation of 8 objects taking 4 at a time, it is equal to 1,680. How about number 4? There are 7 pupils who enter a bus with only 5 empty sets. In how many ways can these pupils be seated? So let us find the permutation of n objects taking r at a time. So what could be the given? The given n is equal to 7 because we have 7 pupils. And then r is equal to 5. That is the 5 empty seats. So let us identify how many ways can these pupils be seated. So the formula for the permutation is permutation of n objects taking r at a time is equal to n factorial all over n minus r factorial. n is equal to 7, n is 7, and then r is equal to 5. So permutation of 7 objects taking 5 at a time, it is equal to 7 factorial all over the quantity 7 minus 5 factorial. 7 minus 5 factorial in the denominator, that is 2 factorial, while the numerator, let us multiply, 7 up to 2 factorial. So 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial to cancel 2 factorial in the denominator. So the permutation of 7 objects taking 5 at a time, it is equal to 2,520. If we multiply 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3, the answer is 2,520. In example number 5, in national election, officials were called as president, vice president. Suppose that were 8 candidates qualified for the said position, in how many ways can they be chosen? So let us find the permutation of n objects taking r at a time. So what could be the given? n is equal to 8 because we have 8 candidates that is qualified while r is equal to 2 because that is president and vice president. So, the solution or the formula to be used is this one. n factorial all over n minus r factorial. So, let us replace n and r to the given equation. So, that is permutation of 8 objects taking 2 at a time because n is equal to 8, r is equal to 2. Is equal to n 8 factorial and then n is equal to 8. So, the quantity 8 minus r is equal to 2. So 8 minus 2 factorial. 8 minus 2 factorial, it is equal to 6 factorial in the denominator. And then 8 times 7 times 6 factorial only to cancel 6 factorial in the denominator. So 8 times 7, the answer is equal to 56. So the permutation of 8 objects taking 2 at a time is equal to 56. Instruction, answer the following question using permutation. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.